Driving the output of a laser diode with a modulated signal and making relevant output measurements can be challenging and sometimes confusing. There are several tips and tricks to consider during setup and in order to accurately measure a device's modulated output. The following overview explores a few of these tips and tricks. Here, you see the setup of an ILX 3726 laser diode controller that will be used to provide a modulated signal to a standard 14-pin butterfly laser diode mounted in our LDM4984 laser diode mount. A CC305 cable is used for laser diode drive connection and a CC505 cable is used for temperature control connection. After powering on the controller, press the laser mode soft button until the current LED is illuminated. Select the maximum output current range for the laser by pressing the range soft button under laser range. For best performance, select the lowest range that allows the laser to be driven at the maximum desired output current. This particular laser diode has a maximum output of 180 milliamps, so we select 200 milliamps under laser range. We can then set the user-defined current limit to exactly 180 milliamps to ensure the safety of the laser diode. This is done by pressing the laser soft button under parameter. Press the set soft button with limits on the laser screen. Then press the set button again with laser current limit showing. Adjust the laser current limit to your diode's maximum allowed current using the adjust knob. Press the set button again to save your new current limit. You can continue to set your voltage limit and power limit as defined by your laser diode specifications using these same steps. Next, to set up our modulation input, adjust to either low or high bandwidth mode under the laser parameters menu based on the maximum required modulation frequency. For the LDC3726, low bandwidth is DC to 15 kilohertz and high bandwidth is DC to one megahertz. Pressing the enable soft button under mod will enable the input BNC jack and will allow connection of a voltage signal that will be superimposed onto the controller's current output. Be sure not to exceed the specified modulation voltage level of 10 volts or damage to the instrument may result. Under the adjust section, press the laser soft button and use the knob to adjust the DC output current to the desired output. Press the on soft button under laser mode. When using a new laser or connection to the laser, it is advised to set the output to zero prior to enabling the output. Once the output is enabled, slowly ramp the current to the desired output. The user can directly measure voltage, photodiode current, calculated photodiode power, and current set point on either the left or right side of the laser display by pressing the left or right display soft buttons under the laser display. Please note that the ILX LDC3726, along with other ILX instruments, have the analog ground inside the instrument tied to earth ground through a 10 mega ohm resistor. If viewing your modulated signal on an oscilloscope, it should be understood that most oscilloscopes have their probe ground tied to earth ground. Therefore, hooking the oscilloscope probe ground to the LDC3726 will create a ground loop that may be the source of some oscillations and consequent signal distortion. Therefore, the user should never hook up the scope ground to the BNC modulation input or to the laser output. Instead, use two channels on the scope to connect to your device. Leave the oscilloscope probe ground disconnected and perform a two-channel math function on the oscilloscope in order to take measurements. Also, take caution to make sure the function generator being used has an output that is electrically isolated from earth ground on the AC power port. Lastly, ensure the signal generator is set to high impedance mode. This concludes our overview of driving a laser diode with a modulated input signal. 
If you have any questions or would like to learn more about our products, please call us on 1-800-459-9459 or email us at sales at ilxlightwave.com.